Alright ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kieran and yes, welcome back to another Community Ideas video for Fallout 5. That's right, I said in the last video that I might make this into a series, if people liked it enough then, well, you know, most of you did. <laughs> so yeah, here I am, making a new one, why not? For anyone new here, in this series I take ideas for Fallout games that you guys have left in the comments of my videos and have a chat about them. So I took a few ideas from the comment sections of the What to Expect from Fallout 5 video, and from the very first Community Idea video, so if you haven't checked out both of them, I do highly suggest going and checking them out because they are quite good and you know, you might find some ideas that you might actually quite like. By the way, I did get a lot of comments in my last video correcting me on this guy's name being Hero of Time and all I'll say is just write your name in fucking English and we won't have this bloody problem. Anyway, let's dive right in because I picked out some interesting ideas for you all to read. First up we have one from Sida's Laboratory who says this. I'm not American, so I don't know what the most interesting city is, but I hope Fallout 5 to be more civilized than 3 and 4. When I play the first Fallout game, I feel it's more like the birth of a new fantasy age, more than a depressing dying world. It'll be cool if the Enclave or the NCR has a legit civilized futuristic small city, and become a powerful faction in a ruined world, and they are starting to colonize smaller towns who still live in ruin. Maybe we start as a citizen of the Enclave city, but get kicked out for some reason? I totally get where Seedas is coming from here by the way, because it, what, it's what, like near 300 years after the bombs fall in the Fallout universe, and yet places like the Commonwealth only have two real towns outside of all the optional settlement stuff. For me, I do love exploring a ruined world where there isn't really much civilization, but I do think Fallout 5 should at least have a large area of the map dedicated to a faction like the NCR. Like if you enter this area, it's going to be relatively safe and clear of any raiders or mutants, and maybe it has multiple towns for you to explore as well. It would be very interesting to see like a enclave establishment or town or something like that to be honest, but it would be one of those places if you approached it then you're probably most likely going to get shot on sight because in their eyes, you're just another dirty wastelander. So yeah, good idea, but let's move right on to the next one, I have quite a lot to get through. Next up we have one from Joel Roldan. I think the next Fallout should take place in North Carolina. Fallout 76 happens to be in Virginia. Also, Pepsi originated in North Carolina, so it can blend in with one of the major Nuka-Cola brewing plants being there. I think that we should have a multiplayer slash co-op rather than a PvP mode. Something like in State of Decay where friends can join you in your world and help you out with quests. So I don't really know too much on North Carolina because, you know, for me as well, I am not from America, so I don't really know too many states apart from the big, big boys, the big meaty ones that everyone goes to in holidays and shit like that. But judging from the pictures I have seen on Google Images, it seems like a Fallout game set in this area would look and feel very similar to 76 just because of how close uh, North Carolina is to where Fallout 76 is set. Now what would be hilarious is if there was like a quest line where you had to interact with like two warring minor factions that were fighting over which soft drink was better, Nuka Cola or whatever follows Pepsi would be. Like imagine a character like Sierra from Fallout 3 leading the charge against another crazed soft drink fanatic. That would be amazing to be fair, <laughs> I, would, I would love that, it would be, it would take like the whole faction like at war concept and just make it absolutely ridiculous but fun at the same time. Now the reason why I picked out this comment isn't because of the whole Pepsi thing, it is because of the, the mention of co-op. Yeah, I know it's a touchy subject among Fallout fans at the moment, but I do truly believe that Fallout 5 could benefit from having at least a two player, maybe, maybe four player co-op option. That's it, the key word there was option. Honestly, I've said before that I would love a Borderlands or Dying Light or, you know, State of Decay, like the guy said, style of drop-in, drop-out co-op option in Fallout because I would love to just explore the wasteland with a friend as if they were my companion in the game. 76 probably ruined the chances of something like this happening in the future, but maybe fans are able to mod in the ability for to have co-op, although, you know, it has, it has taken like a mod team in Skyrim, what, eight years to get even close, you know? But yeah, two-player co-op, like, I, I build cool settlements in Fallout 4, I want to show the world that I want to bring a friend in and give him a fucking tour, I don't want to watch a video, I want to, I want to be guided, you know? Another idea comes from a good supporter of the channel, TGV Monster, who says this. I would love to see a Fallout in New Orleans. It could use New Orleans occult history to create a neat game. They can have a clan called the Voodoo Lords, who are led by the descendant of Marie Lavu, the Voodoo Queen. It would also have the Scent Quest in the swamps with cool monsters, and the night town would be during the time of All Souls Day. 
It would also have a clan that's like a Lovecraftian cult that worship a mutant monster that lives out in the ocean near New Orleans. Ah, uh, this reminds me so much of the good old Fallout New Orleans rumours back in the day where everyone thought that Obsidian was going to be making like a sequel to New Vegas because they, I think it was like they released the code name to their next game or something like that and because their code names always, um, uh, they're named after like states in America, they're like, oh my god, here we go and I'm like, no, 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 Bethesda are shutting that down unfortunately. But yeah, this is a really cool idea and diving into the occult history would definitely tear it apart from the other Fallout games. Well, or maybe it would just be like, it would just fit in with Fallout because I, like, even with 76 just there, they sort of embrace like the local legends like with West Virginia, you have the Mothman thing, you've got the quest line with the cult of the Mothman and stuff like that. So you can definitely see it happening here, it'd be awesome, it'd be cool. You can definitely see more horror elements in there as well with some factions and seeing like a more swampish Fallout game would definitely shake things up and give it a more point and look out sort of vibe or um, fuck what's that DLC called in Fallout 4. The, the, the one I played like once and I really want to go back to it and I have just never went back to it for some reason. Found an interesting comment by Yo-Yo Ip talking about a story idea that they had for the next game. Since Fallout 3 is about finding the protagonist's father and Fallout 4 is about finding your son, Fallout 5 could be about finding the protagonist's brother or sister. If you choose the protagonist to be male, then you'll have to find your sister, then it's the other way around if you choose female. The story would be about the protagonist's siblings living in Vault 121. Their parents passed away when they were little kids, so the siblings depend on each other to live in the vault. One day in 2292, the protagonist wakes up to find the vault empty with everyone missing, including their sibling. The protagonist resets the vault's Mr. Handy, who later becomes one of the player's companions, kinda like in uh, Fallout 4 by um, Codsworth. That's, that's his name. <laughs> I forgot about it for a wee second there. The Mr. Handy informs the player that a group of mysterious folk came into the vault and took everyone away by force, but the protagonist's siblings were last seen alive by the robot and no corpses were found in the vault. The protagonist believes that their sibling is still alive and so they set out and leave the vault alongside Mr. Handy to go look for them. Now the reason why I said this comment was interesting was mainly because of how it follows the theme of BGS follow games of trying to find a family member. So you know, place your bets in the comment, what's the, what sort of family member are we going to be looking for in the next Fallout game? Will it be your uncle or will it be your granny? I don't know, find out in 10 years time when the game finally fucking comes out. Fun fact actually, Vault 121 was actually supposed to be in Fallout 4 and it was originally meant to be where on Fault 95 is now. Kinda curious why they changed the number from 121 to 95, maybe it was just because it was edging more onto that 122 number which, if you don't know, was the last vault to be made by vault -Tec. No one knows why they changed the number, I'm probably gonna need to watch that like documentary they made ages ago, maybe they mentioned it, I don't know. And to round up the video I have another comment here saying it will be Follow New York. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people really want to follow New York, but just in case we don't get that in Fallout 5, I do suggest going and checking out the mod project Follow Empire Waste because that mod aims to bring the Big Apple into Fallout 4. But yeah, Follow New York, I think I'm going to add that as a fucking comment at every single, at the end of every single one of these videos. People always want to follow New York, which I say in the Empire Waste video that I really do want to look at a Follow New York. I think that'll be cool. I think that makes sense in terms of BGS, in, te in terms of the settings and all that. I think it'll be cool. By the way, if you want to check out Follow Empire Waste, I actually did a video on it. So if, I'll link that down in the B chat if you want to go check that out. So that's us for today's community ideas for Fallout 5, I do hope you all enjoyed the video and if you have an idea for a Fallout game then feel free to leave it down in the comments below and it might be included in the next video, you never know. Special thanks to my brilliant new patrons, KG, Proxy1, Devil and TG Monster for your continued support over on my Patreon, thank you guys so much, I do really appreciate it. But yeah, that is me for this video, I know this is a wee bit, see I wanted to be, um, cause I, I wanted to have like a dedicated structure to the, towards these community ideas videos, I don't really want to have them lingering on for too much, I'm, I'm aiming for a 10 minute mark here. I'm probably going to go over. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoy talking about these Fallout 5 ideas. I think it's really nice to have the community's creativity just go, you know? And like I said in the last video, the main reason why I'm doing this is because everyone just kept giving me their ideas for in, in my very first Fallout 5 video and I was like, do you know what? This is great. I, this is uh, Some of these ideas are really fun and really interesting to talk about. So, may as well make a fucking video. So, yeah, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.